A good summer day to all of you out there and welcome back to our channel where we discuss software and all things related. Today let's review an uninstaller app. From time to time we get a stubborn program hanging to our PC hiding and doing its shady deeds. It's often adware, malware or spyware and it's quite tough to get rid of. And once again, the market has solutions. I'm talking about special uninstaller programs mostly aimed at Windows OS users. Revo, Ashampoo, CCleaner, Total Uninstall and IOBit Uninstaller. After user reviews like this, Stating two crucial factors, nothing works by IOBit, and a free app that worked, I was compelled to choose this one. But if you'd like me to review others as well, I'd be glad to, let me know in the comments. So IOBit Uninstaller version 11 is a program for removing unwanted programs, Windows applications and browser plugins, which is additionally equipped with extra tools for PC work optimization. It's not just uninstalls, but also cleans the residual files left sitting on the hard drive. It is designed to work on Microsoft Windows version from XP, Wistra, 7, 8, to 10 and 11. It offers both free and pro versions. Let's start with free. First off, pay attention to installation if you don't want to end up with additional software installed by IOBit. Choose custom install. Secondly, the interface is presented in classic IOBit product colors, stylish yet restrained, and from two color theme I will choose light. Any changes to the settings stay effect immediately and do not require the program to restart. As any other uninstaller app, this is a straightforward, small and uncomplicated program. It is aimed at extending standard Windows capabilities and monitoring further installations. Let's go through its key features. There are four main tabs and action center here on the left. Programs host the list of programs on your PC and all uninstaller tools. Here you can preview programs, see their size and date of installation, sort and search. I've checked with the control panel in Windows to compare. All the same programs in both cases, nothing is left out. Also, I see that a new option, powerful uninstall, is added to Windows by Avobit and if I click it, it leads to Avobit to perform the test. A handy option Avobit offers that doesn't exist in Windows is grouping programs into recently installed, large programs, bundleware, infrequently used. So let me try the main task – uninstallation. I have another product by IOBit Advanced System Care we previously reviewed, link here by the way, taking quite a lot of disk space on my PC, let's remove it. The app offers to create a restore point and delete all the residual files. Yes, please. One final are you sure caution? And done. Now see more extra files. Yes, now I see that it's deleting leftovers. One program uninstalled and six useless registry entries with it. And an instant reminder about the pro. Not so good. Let me double check in the control panel and in program files on the PC drive. All good, delete it. The second tab is software health. Your software was never analyzed and needs a scan. Let's see. Outdated software, hidden software permissions, unwanted notifications and pop-ups, leftover uninstall issues, malicious extensions. Ok, let me scan. Oh, 1320 leftovers from previous software installations. One click fix all options only for pro users. For now, I leave it without fixing, I'll tell that in pro. The next step is install monitor. It is designed to monitor specified programs and detect changes they make to the system when being installed. Two options, automatic and manual. Auto monitor when on will log all changes by all installed apps. Manual means you install an app through IOBit by dragging a setup executable file here and then view the summary. For example, I install FileZilla this way and see that it installed 926 files in total, made 40 new registry entries and takes 40 MB of my disk space. The next step is browser extensions, collected and grouped by a web browser, Internet Explorer, Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox. Nothing extraordinary, you can remove extensions from here too. There are also some extra tools under this little box icon. This target tool is quite interactive. Drag the icon onto an item to start removing it. Sort of aim and kill with the mouse. For an install and stubborn program remover, I guess do the same job. Well, yes, but they are organized differently as I see when opening the last one. It is a list of more than 2000 zero party software known to be hard to uninstall fully. This is a pro feature, so I'll check it in the next chapter. There is also file shredder, supposed to delete files terminator style, so that no data recovery software or any other means 
once we'll be able to restore files. And the last one is Windows updates uninstalled, which could be of use of some users as Windows does not allow this option. If we go to settings, it is pretty conventional, and some options are only for a pro license. My subjective brief summary on key aspects. Removal speed 10 out of 10, removal quality 9 out of 10, user experience 7 out of 10, process automation 9, additional features 7, pro and advanced features. Now let's move on to more features, or as they called it, advanced features. It is available to those users who purchase a pro license. It costs $15 annual per one PC or a $17 annual per 3 PC, and a 60 day refund is in place if you don't like it. The vendor promises such benefits of Pro as automatic cleaning of old or poor installations, stubborn program removal, detecting software vulnerabilities, monitoring installations in real time updating software in one click, and finally priority technical support. So when you purchase a subscription, you get the activation code in a mail, let me get it and paste it here. And click register now. To test how it really fares against hard to uninstall software, which is often malware, spyware or adware. The first thing I did this morning was install a vast free antivirus. It has a bad reputation in this regard and I must say, I can confirm that. Not only it interfaces with Legit and harmless applications, it installs multiple utilities and creates hidden folders. Avast! But first, let's go back to the software health tab and run a scan. As in the free version, it found 1320 all uninstallation leftovers. This is shocking to me, to be frank. I expected, well, maybe 20 or 40 such files not 1320. Let's fix it all. It starts with some adware detected, delete it. Then everything else and summary in a few seconds time, all issues fixed. One installation file, let's fix it all. It starts with some adware detected, delete it. Then everything else and summary in a few seconds time, all issues fixed. One installation file and one malicious extension. Also followed by a suggestion about three large programs, meaning that ones that take more than 500 megabytes on the disk. I need them all, but this could be of help in some situations. In install monitor, I can see my recent locked installations, so I a bit keeps an eye. That's good. Now let's go to tools to check those options that you only get in Pro. Software updater and nice edition probably. It found two apps to update on my PC. For convenience, the update all button is here, so I click it to check. I see the progress, and this one app is updated. Ok, let me click it again. Same. OBS Studio does not get updated even if I try to fix it individually. Strange. Another tool offered is easy uninstall. That's aim and kill mouse target. Let me try it on a simple txt document. It will be deleted, not uninstalled, as it is not a program. Though it works, and so, check. I saw a similar tool in Revo uninstaller, I believe it was called Hunter Mode or something like that. And now let's go back to the issue with Avast. It is in this IOB database of Starboard programs. No, but some other Avast products are. So I go to force uninstall and drag Avast antivirus inside. Select remove residual files. Yes. Avast setup menu is initiated. A bit odd as I thought it will be taken care of in IOB, but okay. Now leftover files, 3 gigabytes, 16 registered items and 44 locked items cleaned. I saw the Avast browsers there. Two browsers. Uninstall boss. Check and install history quickly on my recent action locked, that's positive, few other options and settings such set to automatically delete leftover files, information about my license expiration date and so on. Nothing extraordinary. Again, my brief summary on pro performance and its aspects. Removal speed 10, removal quality 9, user experience 8, process automation 9, pro features 5. And summary. That's not much to add I can think of, as IOBit installer is a planned program with only one essential function and a few extra tools. In terms of design and performance, it's a good installer equipped with a concise interface and smooth work. Its impact of RAM and CPU is slight, it can be used for free and it's not limited or restricted as typically happens, which is nice. I was positively surprised it found over 1000 
leftover files from previous software installation that are basically junk files. It even uncovered a ransomware sitting in my computer I was totally unaware of, and the install monitor feature is quite useful too in my view. Yet I didn't like the aggressive pushing of other iBit products, especially during installation. Even after activating the program, special offers are presented in different tabs and notifications pop up on your screen from time to time. I also noted that software update option does not work properly. It cannot perform the update to certain apps. Finally, I've looked into several similar uninstallers on the market currently, and here's what I can say. Two main competitors. Most features are similar, whereas Arbit has a bit more stylish interface, while Revo has an upper hand in extra features. Backup manager, scanning for unnecessary files, deleting traces, and history. Jig is a minimalist utility and it lacks health the features compared to the most popular uninstallers, however, it's portable and fast. Ashampoo has additional features to optimize the system and better inform the user of the system status, but the cost is twice as high $40. CCleaner is a bigger app. Uninstalling is only a part of it, and generally it is most popular with users, it has registered maintenance with the search for unnecessary records and better use interface than iobit. Both have similar functions, but Total has a worse interface and lack extra features, such as the install monitor. So this is all for now and you know the deal, hit the thumbs up below and share your thought in question below. See you soon!